Hi there. Now for this question, we've got to find the series expansion for y up into and including the term in x squared. So if you'd like to have a go at this, haven't had a chance to do it, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back, I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. Now this particular expansion revolves around using Maclaurin's series, this one here, okay, which you should be uh, familiar with. If not, do check it out on my website. So what I'm going to do is let y equal f of x, okay? So in other words, f of x is 8 plus e to the x, and I'll raise that to the power a half, okay? Now, we need to get f of 0, f dash of 0, f double dash of 0, and so on. Okay, the first differential, second differential, whatever. So I'm going to, first of all, find out f of 0. So from this, we've got, therefore, f of 0 equals and e to the power. 0 is 1, 8 plus 1 is 9, 9 to the power half is 3. And then we've got to differentiate... First of all, so f dash x or f prime x, some people call it, equals, and we'd need to use the chain rule here. So you should find you get a half times 8 plus e to the power x. That's reduced to the power minus a half, and then we multiply it by the differential of 8 plus e to the x, which is just going to be e to the power x. So that's the chain rule, and I'll tidy this up, actually. I think it will be better if we tidy it up. It's going to be e to the power x, all divided by 2 times 8 plus e to the power x, all to the power half there. Okay? So, therefore, when it comes to f prime 0, okay, then we've got 1 on the top here. It's going to be 1 over... 8 plus 1, square rooted, so the square root of 9 is 3, 2 3's are 6, so you're going to get 1 6. Okay, so we've got that far. We only need to do this one more time because we've got to go up to the term in x squared. So let's just do f double dash of x, okay, equals, and I've got to use the quotient rule here. So there'll be the denominator times the differential of the numerator, so it's 2 times 8 plus e to the power x, all to the power half, times the differential of the numerator, which will be e to the power x. Then it's minus, and then we've got the numerator, e to the power x, times differential of the denominator. So that's going to be half times 2, well that's 1, so it's going to be 8 plus e to the power x, to the power minus a half, using the chain rule here, by the way, and then we differentiate the 8 plus e to the x with respect to x, and that's just going to be e to the power x. And it's all divided then by the denominator squared. So it's going to be 2 squared, which is 4, and then squaring 8 plus e to the x to the half, it's just going to be 8 plus e to the power x. So we've got f double dash of 0. And putting 0 through here, you're going to get 6 across this first term. For the second term here, you should get minus 1 third, and that's all divided by 36. And this comes to 17 divided by 108. So, therefore, we've got y will be equal to, according to this, f0, which is 3, and then for the other terms, it's going to be 1 sixth x, and then plus f double dash of 0 divided by 2 factorial. If I times that by a half, then we've got plus 17 over 216, and that's x squared, and plus and so on. All right.